I think of school and graduation, I think of me wanting the days to pass quickly. I want it out. I want it a real world. Not that make-believe one that smelled of chalk dust and little boy dreams. I didn't. I was sorry to see school over. Oh, come now. This is Stephen you're talking to. You couldn't wait to get out either. You had bigger fish to fry. Maybe I had dreams, too. And what did your dreams get you? Nothing much. Betty, you surprised me. Rodney, the other one, the clerical caller. They just aren't in your class. Aren't you jumping to conclusions? Am I? I know quite a lot about you. Why don't we talk about you for a change? You know so much about me, and I know nothing about you. I'm at a disadvantage. What do you want to know? Ask me questions. Why are you here in Peyton Place? Why aren't you in some big city trying for the big time? I like it here. What are you after? I just want to make a living, a nice life, like the rest of the common folk. That's as truthful as my saying I like school. Come on, Mr. Court, this town is small potatoes, too small for a big planner like you. Caught out. It's more comfortable. Someday I'll tell you all about my plans for Faith Place. You have the neatest way of avoiding answering. You've been doing it all evening. You're pretty good at it yourself. I think we're two of a kind. Two born infighters, avoiding the punches and waiting for the right moment to move in and get what we want. You make it sound so cold and calculating. Just truthful. See, we do have a lot in common, don't we? We've both lived in the Harrington house. I live in a room below the stairs. My room is on the second floor. Oh, yes. The second floor. But just the same, it was below the stairs. You want to live on the second floor, don't you? Betty, I want the whole house. The entire house. Didn't you? Sure, like early breakfast. How very traditional. Do you feel like being traditional? Not really. I feel sort of old and out of it. So do I. You could uh, go over to my place and cook up some eggs if you like. I'd like. Hope your stay will be a pleasant one. Uh, sign in, Rodney, please. That'll be room 206, Doctor. I sent your bags upstairs. Thank you. Uh, messenger left this for you a little while ago. Who's Theodore Dowell? He's a lawyer. A lawyer? Divorce. <clears throat> well, good for Claire. She's finally doing something. Markham, I'm sure Claire didn't know your condition when she started all this. I have no intention of functioning as an object of pity, Dr. Rossi. Doctor. And as to my alleged condition, it's got nothing to do with this matter. Thank you for dinner. Good night. I want to place a person-to-person -person call to Philadelphia. The name is Kenneth Markham. I have the number right here. I'm sorry. You think? 
might reach into that conversational grab bag of yours and come up with a different line? Come on. It was just a joke, Peter. What is it? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's all you say. Will you knock it off or tell me? I didn't mean it, okay? It's just that, well, you've got my head spinning. Not a word out of you in the car. Not a peep out of you all along the beach. You don't make the guy feel very important, you know? the most important thing in the world. Rita. You want to tell me what's bothering you? I'll play like you can. Oh, Norman. You want to see how smart I am? How smart I am? Don't play games. You think you're not good enough? Right on the first shot. Rita doesn't think she's good enough for Norman. Exactly how you think, isn't it? Exactly what I think. Like you don't belong with me. Yeah. I don't belong. It's how you see yourself, isn't it? The way everybody sees me. You dummy. Don't you know you're the best thing that's ever happened to me? Do you know where I was before you came along? Nowhere. Walking a tightrope, nowhere. And then it was like you reached out your hand and said, Come on. Come on, Norman. Go this way. I started out all brand new. You gave me another chance, Rita. <laughs> Can you do chance and run with it? Wait a minute, Rita. I'm going to tell you the truth. So please don't throw it in my face. It's going to be the first time in my life I've ever leveled with anyone. So don't shoot until you see the whites of their eyes, okay? Look, I'll admit it. When we first started dating, I... Please take this the right way. I thought you were the kind of girl I could prove myself with. Listen to me. At first I said, then it got to be something else. It got to be where I, I just wanted to see you, to be with you. And now it, you know how it is now. Hey, look, look at me please, Rita. We're brand new. We're good for each other. I know when I first started dating you, I was wrong. But you made us right. So forget all that other stuff. 
We're brand new. Right now, we're brand new. <laughs> Show life for breakfast. I know. They're going right away. I know. You still want to go to my place? We can. From the continuing story of Peyton Place. Please, it'll be a retreat. Well, maybe we have to retreat. No, we don't have to. I'm not just thinking about us. I'm thinking about Kim. Come here. You come here. I've already come 6,000 miles, Claire. And six more feet. Look, if Joe's been up to anything, I've got to know. I'll find out. <laughs> 